Hey guys, and welcome to my second edition of my study with me kind of series that I seem to have started on my channel. So after finishing off doing everything that I do in the mornings usually, which includes yoga, as you just saw, I sat down on my desk and I first started to fill out my diary and the one that I'm showing you here, I had a few questions on last time. I found in TK Maxx and that is where I often find most of my diaries because they're often quite unique and you tend not to find them in other conventional stationery stores. So that is why I love TK Maxx. But anyway, getting back to what I'm doing. So I'm basically just filling out my diary for the rest of that week and a few weeks in advance because I have a lot of dance rehearsals and shows coming up. So I need to be organized. Very much questioning why I sign up to all these things. So I've got rehearsals coming up this Sunday, which I'm just putting in my diary. I've got this huge gap from two o'clock to 5.30 and then I'm there until 7.30. The dilemma, do I come back to college and go again and cycle there and back like four times? Or do I stay? Oh, that's gonna be a long day, everybody. Yeah, so this term is very busy in terms of dance rehearsals, shows, competitions, and all that jazz, which don't get me wrong, I love doing, but- Four till 10? What? It does take up quite a bit of my time, as you can clearly see, I mean, four till 10, that's pretty much my whole afternoon and evening gone, but that just means that I need to use my time as efficiently as possible and be really productive. So I will take work with me if I'm at rehearsals, just in case there is a break and I can maybe read something or do a bit of work. I know it is hard sometimes, but we can try. So my day today is pretty busy i've had busier days but i'm still quite busy so it is yes tuesday the 30th of january yes we're still in january um so i've got lecture this morning hour break another lecture oh and i've got a lab and then i have a dance rehearsal here got that in my head know where i've got to be Okay, just as importantly, Holly's to-do list needs to be done. I need to update it. I need to add things to it. I need to cross off things that I've done, which is the best thing about a to-do list. I mean, watch this. I mean, who doesn't love it when you can screw up a to-do list because it's finished and shove it in the bin? And we threw away a second, apparently. Okay, so to do list now done. My phone like keeps buzzing because people keep messaging me on Facebook. <gasps> this is the thing with group chat messages. They're literally alive 24 seven. See, all throughout the day and all throughout the night, no joke. There are messages coming in all the time. Okay, and final bit of admin thing before we started work was just to do my emails and then I could finally close out my MacBook and open my folder to begin some actual work of the day. So I started off with some work for neurobiology and I looked through my folder and I found the set of notes from this certain lecture that I was a bit unsure about and I wanted to try and make some notes on it to check my understanding because I knew that in the lecture this was something that I kind of didn't follow and you can see that I'm not writing anything here. I have no clue what this is really going on about, I'm a bit confused about this section. Yeah, so often the pace of the lectures is really fast and if I don't understand something, I want to try and make sure that I go over it because when it comes to revising for exams, I don't want to have to be understanding it for the first time. I want to know how the concept kind of works and just be able to learn it for the sake of an exam. So I whipped out the MacBook, got straight onto Google and tried to understand what was actually going on. So yeah, I'm scratching my head a bit actually. You actually do that when you're confused. But anyway, I found the PowerPoint that was used during the lecture on our VLE or Moodle site that we have access to. I read it over a few times to see if I was just misinterpreting the way something had been said. But no, in this case, I did need to resort to Google and I found this paper online which seemed to explain the concept in a way that I understood. So that meant that I could write my notes 
and feel satisfied that I'd actually learnt something and achieved something that day first thing in the morning by 9am. But yes, my course is very intense and we learn new things every single day, new information is thrown at you. So it is very difficult sometimes, but by immediately recognising those things that you don't really understand, it means that you can stay on track. So the next thing I did was just hole punch and paper because personally I find it quite therapeutic to do this and because I like to carry plain paper to take notes on in my folders. Ah, yes. Okay, so I clearly get very excited when I get to empty the little bits of paper into the bin. Um, that makes me really excited. But then I decided to make my breakfast because I was getting really hungry by now. Um, I'm just freezing some bananas so that I can make my smoothies and my ice cream every day. So I did that first. I then ate my breakfast and my sister will appreciate this. But everyone listen very carefully. My sister says that her favourite noise is the sound of a smoothie being poured into a mason jar. Anyway, so whilst I was eating my breakfast, I decided that I would just make a quick essay plan. So we were coming up to finishing a lecture series of seven lectures and I thought that I was going to write an essay on this topic because I had really enjoyed the lectures. They were taken by my supervisor himself. It was about motor systems and motor control in the body, which was extremely conceptual, but I thought it was so interesting that I just really wanted to write an essay on it. So I did a little plan before I had to go to my lecture that morning at 10 a.m., which you saw in my diary. So after I'd done the essay plan, which did not take me very long at all, like 15 minutes, I packed my bag and I headed out to my lecture of the morning. So that was for cell and developmental biology. So you'd agree with me that I look sunny in my room this morning, so cold. And I decided to wear this bomber jacket because you know, but I should have worn my big jacket like screw fashion people. I blame the Facebook group chat because I'm running late right now. So morning power walk. I should be on a bike, definitely. Morning power walk, turning into a run. Actually, there are so many people around that's so awkward, Holly, and so embarrassing. Stop running. I have this tendency to just start running when I'm late, and I realise there are people around staring at me because I look like an idiot. So we had to move it a bit to make sure we were on time for the lecture, but it turns out I wasn't late. So many people were still coming into the lecture room as the lecturer was trying to start talking, so it's okay. This lecture block is about the cytoskeleton and I find this stuff really exciting and um, it's something that I've always associated with biology when we did it in school. I'd be like, yes, I love this stuff. So it's a pretty good lecture series. This was the first out of four lectures that we'll be having in this block. So I was just going through and adding some notes as the lecturer was talking, underlining the key points as I usually do. And yeah, after that lecture, I headed out to the library which is just very conveniently on the site where all my other lectures are held. I decided that I would just go through that lecture that we just had to make sure that I captured everything and understood everything that was said. Um, that didn't take very long. The next thing that I decided to do was to just um, finishing writing up some notes from the neurobiology lecture that I was working on in the morning because I'd started it and I thought, why not? I've got about half an hour I can maybe finish these notes so that was a pretty productive use of my time in the library now I don't usually choose to work in libraries it's only because I have an hour break between my lectures and the reason why I'm not a big fan of the libraries is because it's so quiet and I often get not annoyed but distracted by the small things that people tend to do in the library and even more importantly I'm not a big fan of them because you're not allowed to eat or drink in a library. So here we are, I am really hungry at this point and I sit in this computer room area and there is a person who monitors what you're doing sometimes and I have been told to stop eating in there once already but no. If you just saw I did get my apple out of my bag because I was definitely going to eat it. Thank you. 
when you take a bite from your apple and you don't realise how loud it's going to be in a library. Mm, yeah, that's just what happened. But it didn't stop me. I'm sorry, but your brain just needs energy whilst you're trying to work. I mean, come on, people. Anyway, so... I finished my work in the library, the hour was up, I had my second lecture of the day which was actually neurobiology, this was the sixth lecture in the block about motor systems and motor control and this clip is not actually time lapsed because I just wanted to show that I was writing pretty quickly in this lecture because I like to try and write down a lot of what the lecturer is saying um, and I find that by doing this I really do understand the concepts that he's talking about because as I said it's quite conceptual this topic. These lunch breaks are so short and my phone is gonna die. Yeah, so I had my second lecture, I came back to college really quickly and I had about 40 minutes to just eat my lunch and these lunch breaks, as I just said, go so fast. So this afternoon from two till five, I had a practical. So I headed out on my bike to the lab and this practical was for my cell and developmental biology module that I'm doing this year. I put on my lab coat, but actually fun fact, today we were actually using the lab coats that were being provided because we were working with genetically modified organisms. So Holly looked like a little bit of an idiot sitting there with her lab coat on, ready to work, when in actuality, we were going to be given some. But hey ho, note to self, don't put your lab coat on until you're told to do so. Yeah, so this is the one I was actually given. It was not as good as mine, let's be real people. The poppers were so strange and it took me a while to figure out how to put it on. I then chose some goggles to wear, these were the most comfortable or the comfiest and then I looked at the stuff we were being given on our desks, looked a bit confused, checked my notes and tried to work out what was going on. I mean I think this happens to everyone at the start of the practical, you don't really know what to do so I just put some gloves on, looked around for a bit and hoped for the best. Nice. So I've just finished that two to five, three hour lab and when people say that biology students in the lab all they do is pipette, literally all I did for three hours was pipette things from one tube to another into 96 world plates. 96 worlds I had to pipette things into and we did more pipetting as well. Oh my gosh, it's literally like a hand workout. That's another thing with labs, you can't drink in the lab so obviously I come out so dehydrated. Now I'm out of water so I'm hoping that when I get to Homerton there'll be a water machine because I'm so thirsty right now, you can't drink in labs and that's the thing that I hate because for three hours I have to go without water and I'm normally someone who drinks like continuously all the time. I'm really dehydrated right now. So after the lab had finished, I got on my bike and headed out to the dance rehearsal that I had at 5.30. And there goes the camera. But anyway, so I put the lights on my bike because it was getting dark. I put my helmet on and I cycled out. It's okay guys, we found the water machine. Just fill up my bottle. I must have cycled quite fast today because I did arrive a bit early, so I had about 15 minutes spare. I couldn't go in the library. As you can see, Homerton have a really big library, but I couldn't get in because I'm not a student at that specific college. So I just sat on these chairs outside, ate some food to give me a bit of energy. I checked my phone, my Instagram. My mum had sent me these pictures that were taken at the halfway dinner with my parents the other day. I posted that in my last vlog. So this is our rehearsal for the show that's coming up. As you can see, we're quite clearly doing tap, but myself and Laura, who is on my left, if you're looking at the screen, Fun fact, when we were younger, we were both in Billy Elliot the Musical together and this dance has been choreographed by Laura. She is basically doing a little Billy Elliot tribute, which is literally the best thing ever. I am loving life right now because I get to live my childhood mems, which is amazing. But anyway, so I finished that rehearsal and came back to college. I then had to add some stuff to my diary, which had come in by email because the emails are non-stop all day every day of the week. I then for like about half an hour, I think I finished off 
some notes that I was doing and yeah so these notes were again the ones I was doing in the library I must not have quite finished them and I thought that you know to just complete that bit of work I would just finish them off before I actually had my dinner and to feel pretty satisfied and take something off my to-do list so again I was looking at a paper online to just check up about something and see if I could understand it in a better way. I think this paper was from nature. I then made my dinner and spoke to mum on FaceTime here. I'm just making some guacamole as you can see just a bit of avocado, smashed avocado and some lemon because that's the simple student version of guacamole. Um, I'm adding some turmeric to my dinner which is just a load of chips and avocado and some veg. I make these chips all the time in the microwave, they're literally the best things ever. And oh hello, you know when you get that little front camera angle shot, I love that. Anyway, so I'm just showing you here that I have lately been starting to save some of my dinners onto my Instagram story. I might also be adding some study kind of motivational things and study photos to that feature on Instagram which is quite new as well so if you're interested in that then you can head over to my Instagram at Vegan Holly G. But anyway, the last thing I did this evening was put my washing away. Um, I'm renowned for just leaving it for weeks on end without putting it away. But I did that in about 20 minutes. I read um, the lecture notes for the next day and that was pretty much me done. I was tired and I wanted to go to bed. So I'm gonna say goodbye guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you did and comment down below whatever you want. And if you're new around here, then you can subscribe for new videos every week. I will see you in my next video everyone, have an amazing week.